Joe, we've taken in a healthy portion of your embarrassment already, but is there anything else you'd like to share with us before you hop on your bike back down Bashful Boulevard? <laughs> <laughs> I've got life insurance. I got really, really paranoid when I was filling out the form mm -hmm. that I hadn't disclosed absolutely everything that you put onto the form, right? Because oh. you know what insurance forms are like. It's impossible. Right? It's like, yeah, you know, you'll be like, you units of alcohol, and you're as if you're yeah. going to be like... Uh, alcohol, you say? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, gee, I don't yeah. know. It's because yeah. I have a sherry after church. <laughs> but, like, it's, I mean, I don't know who, I, it's honestly like, who One are they? unit. Who are they? Yeah. One storage yeah. unit. Like, honestly, just, just, a week. Just, 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 just past these forms, it honestly seems like you've got to be like, like Rupert Bear or something. Like, just you haven't done anything. Yeah. You don't, you've never been out. Yeah. I was working in this office at the time and I ended up writing this kind of covering letter to my, because I had all these visions of like, me dying and then like they the insurance company would find out that i hadn't told them something and then they wouldn't mm. pay out it basically went dear sir madam i joe thomas <laughs> speak to a therapist have genital warts and have hemorrhoids <laughs> yours faithfully joe thomas and then I, so and i was working in office and i sent it to the bloke on the reception desk and said, can you print this for me? <laughs> what? And he printed it. But then, but then he came into the office and was like, has it come out? And it hadn't come out of the printer. And he was like, oh no. Oh. And he'd sent it to a different printer on the same network. Oh and God. he didn't know where the printer was. So it's like, oh. come out somewhere. And he was like, I think I know where it is. There's a no we Our company has another building like across the road. <laughs> <laughs> so it's come out there. And I was like, could you just make sure no one reads it? Because it's a bit embarrassing. Because like, I've done, done the in-betweeners and stuff. <laughs> And his way of sorting it out was he rung up and went, hello, yeah, um, <laughs> something's just been printed out on the printer um, and it contains some top secret information about Joe Thomas. Can I just make sure that no one reads it? I was like, thanks, mate. Because no, you've got no way of checking. You've got no way of checking. It's quite a short, it's quite pithy. It takes about two seconds to read. No one's going to read that, mate. Thanks for that little speech, pal. Some top secret information that no one has any way of checking whether they've read it. So, yeah, and that was, oh. that was sent off. Uh, all that information because I was worried that like you know if they found out I saw a therapist they'd be like oh well he's a mental case then so yeah. no money for him or if I died of a being hemorrhage. crushed by warts uh, yeah. or something yeah. um, I mean there's no way I'm getting any money from this insurance payout I mean that no. is, that is no I would have thought that insurance life insurance policy was coming into its own the moment that happened to me because I would be yeah. straight up to the top of the yeah. building <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. good luck yeah. and good night no. I think that would actually be death by embarrassment death by embarrassment <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah does that count the yeah yeah, the building having announced to an entire office that you had genital, genital warts, warts, hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids, all the arse and penis stuff, yeah. all the arse and penis stuff, and then just the brain. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Apart from my, uh, let me just check, brain, yeah. arse, and yes. penis. Everything yeah. else is fine. But you, you still sent it. And did, yeah. did they receive it? I think they did receive it. And, and what it, happened? I think they just were like, thanks yeah. for sending this. Yeah. And, and it's then, all Then fun. the guy that accidentally sent it there was like, okay, I'm just going to check that this printer situation has been sorted out. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just yeah. going to send a test now. <laughs> yeah. Right. P.S. I also am into yeah. a bit of pegging. Yeah. Right. The <laughs> no, it's still going no, through no, no, to no. the office. It's still, gone. That is it's weird. still being sent yeah, over the road. That's weird. Um, yeah. We're going to have to get IT in here to look at this. Yeah. 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 Uh, please can you stop sending them my confessions you're, you're just going to leave listen. your wife with no money and some yeah. warts listen yeah. she's going to be <laughs> she's going to be straight on to the, the next guy <laughs> <laughs> as if she oh, yeah. as if she's going to hang around mourning for me no. for the rest of I would say two months <laughs> moving up <laughs> no, I'd, I would bloody love her to be widowed um, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but no, there's you know, the soundbite for the air yeah. and also you know as I say speaking to a therapist it's not a sign that you've got poor mental health no more than going to a gym is a sign that you've got poor bodily health it's Absolutely. Actually, you know it's ridiculous and actually Absolutely. you know the, the whole industry is outdated if you know it's like if, if, you know they need to update it their... was a prison therapist though wasn't it it was mm. a prison therapist <laughs> um, yeah when I first moved to London when I was living in a house here in Camden and I met my housemate at the time Scottish man I'm going to name him, name and shame, Mike Douglas, Michael oh, Douglas. Okay. But not the Michael not Douglas. Not the Michael Douglas. I think, the I think he was Michael named Douglas. before Michael Douglas became a thing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and I met him um, like on Euston Road, kind of King's Crossway mm -hmm. for lunch. And then I said, I was going to walk. I love walking. I said, it's my favorite sport, mm. walking. So I was walking down to Oxford Circus. So mm -hmm. we met and then said goodbye to him. I was going to go down there. And it was when I was working for MTV where literally all I wore was the same outfit, which was like this ripped little denim skirt that I got in Beyond Retro and, and a band t-shirt. Literally, that's all I wore for about three years. 
And then I got down to Oxford Circus and quite busy. And this girl kind of heading into Soho. So it's quite a bit of a walk, like yeah. about ha- yeah. like yeah. half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. I got a little tap on my shoulder from a girl and she's like, your skirt's cut. <gasps> I said, what do you mean? She goes, your skirt's cut. And okay. And I just turned around. I had like a big bag and I'm, I'd kind of done this with my bag and I'd lifted my skirt. Oh no. So my skirt was right off my like pants are out. Oh no. <laughs> For the whole journey. For half an hour. Well, no, well, I don't know. Cause she just told me not to circus. So I was like, I've done, I've been wor- walking, but like someone would tell you. Was more, and also I just started on telly. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of maybe the girl on MTV or maybe I'm not. I don't know. But I've just walked through central London with like my bum on show. <laughs> I get home that night. And I'm telling Mike the story. And he went, oh, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I went to call you, but then you didn't hear me. So I just left you. Oh, Michael Douglas. And then I was like, but that was like King's Cross. Wow. No one stopped me and told me until I got to Oxford Circus. Fuckers. That's how no, long. Michael Douglas. But also, yeah, or called, or called my phone. It yeah, wasn't dark ages. Phones then, there right? were phones then, ten years ago. Do you know? I kind of blocked that out. I don't think I've shared that. Oh my god! And presumably that was the end of your friendship with Michael Douglas. I think we stayed in the house. You, he was, he was a Scottish Douglas. man. He was like a fr- he was just like, Scottish men. They talk their way around things. <laughs> uh, I also, but then also Michael Douglas. I'm, you know, I'm naming his whole name now. I got many a call at three in the morning. From people going, do you know where this man lives? He says that you're his housemate, and then they have to send him home. So Michael Douglas, <laughs> he's he's a fun and character. You gave them the wrong address. I gave him the wrong address. Yeah. I said, sorry, payback. I don't know. I don't know I who don't Michael know. Douglas is. He didn't tell yeah. me my ass was <laughs> hanging out at Kings Cross Station. I real quick, I was once hung over uh, from a night of buffoonery, and I left my j- jacket, my brand new jacket, in a bar. So I go back the next morning at like 10 a.m. I'm like banging on the the bar uh, window and stuff. And I'm like, I see a guy. There's a guy working in there and he's not helping me and he's not answering the door. What the hell? It must have been some jacket. It was. I go around. I go back in. or Like I find a way in. Like there's a door open in the bar. I go in and it's a stand up of Captain Morgan. (laughs) <laughs> it's a it's a cardboard stand up of Captain Morgan. That's how hungover I was. Wow. And I I did not find my jacket, but I said to I said to my friend at the time, I'm like, I'm not leaving here without a coat. And I just grabbed somebody else's coat and left. Wow. It was some dirty, dirty stuff. <laughs> but thankfully there were no witnesses other than Captain Morgan who kept his <laughs> silence. <laughs> You were probably so drunk the night before you'd had a full conversation with the stand-up of Captain Morgan as well. Bar yeah. manager would have been like, you were gnawing his ear off for about half an hour last night. I think I thought I converted him to Christianity. <laughs> Come to find out he uh, he's pretty atheistic, I think. Yeah. Hey, Come on, Captain. We're going back to the mine for some afters. Are you coming with us? <laughs> ah, you're so boring. He doesn't say anything, this hey, guy. He's so my, lame. Can we pick my jacket up and bring it with you? Yeah, oh, too good for everyone, Captain Morgan, because I'm in an advert. You think I can't lift my leg up onto a chair? <laughs> I can't. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> ah, no, I can't.